Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Watch Dogs, this is Quoth here and we are going to jump right into the game in just a second here. Um, Watch Dogs is going to be our new series, I'm going to start from the beginning and uh, basically I tried it out a little bit so you're going to see there is a continue file here. I am going to play a new game so I'm going to overwrite the continue. Um, basically I just wanted to try it out, play it for about an hour or so so I understand how the game works and I was kind of on the fence about whether or not I wanted to bring it to you all and then I realized one quick thing and basically uh, there are segments of this game in Watch Dogs where the game is really, really fun to kind of, you know, think your way through, figure out what you're going to do. And there's also mixtures of that with some crazy action scenes and everything else. It's kind of like a Grand Theft Auto um, meets, you know, a puzzle game in certain aspects. And that much of it I, I think I can really mesh with, so I wanted to bring that to you. And most importantly, <laughs> this game has a tendency to make me get very, very annoyed during the car chase sequences, and I think that might also be of entertaining value, but maybe not to me so much as to you, but another reason why I want to bring this game to you. So essentially, I am going to start really quick from the beginning. There are some okay loading screens here. Um, this first one I'm just going to use essentially to premise my, uh, my series here, but uh, I may end up editing some of these loading sequences to be a little shorter in the future. It's not a lot through the whole game. For the most part, it's an open world GTA style game but there are several loading sequences that we are going to run into. I will uh, let the uh, cutscenes play. I'm not going to try to skip through them or anything like that. If you like them, great. If you don't, you know, you could fast forward through them, I guess. I don't know. But um, basically, I'm just going to let the cutscene take it from here. Floating in a cloud of data. I just reach out, pluck it from the sky, and it's mine. It's ours. Stay focused. We got a nasty security system. How much we got? A hundred grand in 30 seconds. God bless the rich and famous. We are the modern day magicians, siphoning bank accounts out of thin air. Someone else is hacking in. Let's take a peek. Let's not. Stick to the plan, Damien. Second the accounts and get out. Adventure, my boy. Have faith in your mentor. Something triggered that alarm. Let's find it. Shit. It's the system. I'm almost there. I'm shutting down now. Don't you touch a thing. What the hell is that? We need to abort. We are not done. Help me! Damien, it's over. I'm disconnecting. Damien! Maurice. Yeah? You're on. One of our contractors ran a search for the hackers in the Merlot job. You're assigned Aiden Pierce. Take him out. Hit the family if you need to. This guy's hacking days are done. Hit the family? Got a problem? Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. Thank <laughs> you. 
gotta believe me, man. Who gave the order? <laughs> don't. I don't know. You don't know. Hit the family? Not a problem. Nope. I'll scare him good. You'll never hear from him again. What do you think, Maurice? Did you scare me? It was a job, man. I didn't know. Who was on the other end of the call? Give me a name. They never gave me a name! Yeah, and I'll tell you a name. Oh. Lena. Lena Pierce. <laughs> I didn't know about any kids, all right? That wasn't supposed to happen. I want you to think very carefully. Think. Look, man. Even if I knew a name, you couldn't get me talking. These guys... I heard stories, man, that like nothing you ever seen before. You gotta walk away from this, man. Some things you can't walk away please, from. Please! Who gave the order? I spoke to him on the phone and he told me where to find you. That's all I know, man. That's all I know. Give me a name. I don't know. All right, man, so here we are once again, back in it. Right now, it's saying to shoot Maurice. You don't have any bullets. How's your memory now? <laughs> oh, it doesn't work. And basically, it's leading us into the tutorial section. Essentially, it's going to show us several things that we can do. Um, in this case, how to do takedowns, how to fire a gun, things like that. Um, as we attempt to kind of go through this level, which is, in, in effect, a fairly cool tutorial mission, in my opinion. Um, it is kind of funny that you'll notice if I take out my, my hacking cell phone, it looks fairly similar to an iPhone. I don't know if they have any sort of licensing involved there, or if Ubisoft just picked a, you know, a common... A common type of phone but in either case uh, you're gonna notice that the, the you know that items that you're able to hack um, will actually show up on your screen as lines you know essentially coming from your phone and in that case you know we're gonna be able to hack the file here All right, so basically we got the file we needed. Now we can head into you know through the rest of the level. There's a couple quick things you can grab here. Some chemicals. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I think you can build. Uh, there's certain things, you, items you can craft. I think that's one of them. Um, you can hack this device here. It gives us a system key. Allow, apparently that allows us a single time hack. Um, there's an item to open here. It's going to have $166 in cash, which is a nice little prize. And I think that's pretty much all we can do at this juncture. Um, you know, we could we can hack you know the pot machine for example I'm pretty sure the only benefit to that is you know later on in the game you might be able to go ahead and do that to distract some guards and things like that but um, essentially um, the hacking mechanic in this game oh, I get some meds the hacking mechanic in this game is based around you know just basically hitting Yo, the correct Maurice. button at the right Yo, time shaking, where the hell you been what he's talking to me ah! Ah! I leave you for two minutes. Give me my bullets. I tossed them. But you said you'd kill them otherwise. I told you to hold on to them, Jordy. Where you been anyway? I had to make a call. And you get what you need from Maurice? Oh, you're kidding me. Let's clean this mess up. Stop admiring your work. Hey, that's cute and all, but I'm disappointed, Pierce. I mean, you failed to spot the nasty inter-gang drama I'm creating here. I don't like loose ends. Let's get him out of here. No, too late. Bottom of the eighth. Chicago's ahead. Game's almost over. We are out of time. Huh. Nice shot. Huh. Come on, you're not just a little interested in my phone call. All right, fine. Tell me about your phone call. Glad you asked. Okay, we got a bunch of dead bodies, right? We got 40,000 people above us. We need a distraction. I called the cops. You did. Oh, yeah, true story. So, cops arrive, and Maurice's little band of brothers arrive, and pop, 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 pop. Jordy, tell me you're joking. No, no, I called them too. Look, we get a messy altercation at the end of the game. You and I slip away undetected. You'll appreciate the plan tomorrow. 
Great. Punctual cops. I handle these guys. You grab Maurice, get him out of here. Maurice? What do I look like, a chauffeur? He's the shooter. I'm not through with him yet. Dick. Hmm. Says the guy who called the cops on me. So basically, um, you know, we have to get out of here. Um, I think there's a couple things that I might be able to... to snag here. I could be wrong. But before we head in, you know, that direction, I think there's a couple things that we can explore. Uh, there's a pitching machine over this way. Some more meds is nice. Um, might be just about it. Some more chemical components. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> Alright, so apparently that's another section of the way that I usually don't go. So, quick failed mission and a reload. Let's try that again. So basically, um, it's going to be kind of a nice little tutorial mission where it's going to show us how to get by you know, people without them spotting you. That's a good example of a way you shouldn't do uh, that. And um, basically, you know, it's going to show you how to take cover, things like that. Now, while you while you take cover, you can do different things that allow you to essentially, you know, move from cover to cover. You can take actions like hacking different things. Like in this case, I'm going to hack the pitching machine. Hopefully, we'll draw the attention of the guards, which will allow me to slip away undetected. Easy as pie. I mean, of course, this game gets a little more difficult as we go, but you know, um, as in normal life, you know, a, a slight distraction is enough to get security guards and policemen to completely leave you alone. Um, nothing at all facetious about what I just said there. So we're gonna move through. Uh, activate the profiler. Okay, this is this basically shows you that if you activate the quote-unquote profiler, which is my iPhone, um, it shows you data lines and things like that. And basically, what it's saying is you can hack security cameras, which allow you to you know check you know take a look at the area. You can zoom in, light a profile, different you know different items and people in the area. You can also, if you find other cameras like so, switch the view to other cameras. So if you can see other things that you're able to hack you're able to essentially hack those items as well. So in this case, um, we're going to just move our way slowly across this room as we you know, take a look at the guards and things like that. And as you can see, we, you know, when we zoom in on people, we can see what's going on. Essentially, this is the concept of the Chicago operating system. You know, the entire city is under a single computer operating system, and every member of it is profiled so assuming they're in the system which everyone supposedly is um, you're actually able to uh, see little tidbits about them see if they're threats you know see what kind of people they are and if there's anything that you can exploit so in this case we're gonna hack this machine here to unlock the door so we can head in at that point we can zoom back to ourselves, and we can head right into the room there He's not moving unless I give him a reason. So we can grab some electronic parts. That's what it's telling me to do. I was trying to move for a couple minutes there. I wasn't letting me do it. Letting me do it. Um, hold LB to open the weapon wheel. All right, so basically you go to the right weapon wheel here. You go to the lure. You hit Y to craft. And then at this point, you can go ahead and toss it. So in this case, we're, just, we're supposed to toss it over here, and it'll essentially be a hackable item that will draw the attention of the guards so that you can sneak by them. Alright. As if everything in life was that easy, um, essentially you can just sneak right by. Um, now, I'm looking at these banners here. It's saying 2005 Division Champions... I, I can't really tell whether this is an actual team or not. I don't know if this is supposed to be like the White Sox or something, but uh, it certainly doesn't look like the Cubs. And if it's neither of those two things, then maybe it's a fake Chicago team. Um, I, I, if anyone wants to chip in with that, please do. Uh, it says the division years and you know, what years they won and things like that. 
Let me know if that's actually like an actual team that they just don't have the rights for, or if they've invented a new Chicago team. If they have, it, I have to imagine it's replacing the Cubs in this uh, in this alternate universe since they've lost so many times. I imagine that their fans eventually would get fed up with them. All right. So with this, it looks like I believe what we're trying to do is just um, essentially get across the room. This seems like a pretty pretty easy endeavor here. I don't see much else that we really need to do. Yeah, I don't really see anything. We'll just we'll just sneak across the back of the room here. Unfavorable performance review. Um, so let's just circle around. I guess there's really nothing to worry about here. All right, so that was pretty simple. Bad boy. The police are about to lock this whole place down. I'm stuck unless we establish an 1875. I want to cut the power and slip past them. Do it all stay here? I thought you wanted to keep May the vigilante out of the news. Everything's connected to the CTOS with a serious firewall. Right now, I need to get out of the stadium. Can you find me the nearest access point? In the next room. Well, you'll need to find someone with security clearance. Security guard should have access. All, All right, so someone please chip in with that. I, I'm really actually really interested to find out exactly what team that's supposed to be or if it's just a complete invention. It's saying May Stadium. Those are your clues. May Stadium established in 1875, uh, 75th anniversary as of 2014. It can't tell me the exact team name, but it could be based on something. But in either case, we're going to hack this camera. And essentially, what we have to do is we have to jump cameras until we find the security guard that has the access codes. I believe it's one of these fellows here. Here we go. Then we can hack his phone and get the access code. And essentially that will allow us to hack the stadium's network, which is right over here. Conveniently also within iShot, which will jump us down into the database and allow us to hack that database and create a blackout. Oh, or we'll create a blackout once I go ahead and do it here. Press RB, blackout all the lights. Everything shuts down now. It's our job to essentially use the confusion and wait for these doors to open here to sneak around these guards and escape when they no longer can see. I don't see anything else we might be able to do, so I'm just, I was just going to wait for that there. And now I'm just going to book it. Now that we're past those guards, I'm going right for the exit. That seems like a bad idea to access. So let's uh, get the F out of here. And I believe that's just about it for the level. Where are you, Jordy? So we walk past all those guards into this crowded stadium here. And I imagine we're more or less out of danger at this point, seeing as what can they really say? I mean, I'm just a random guy walking around. Hello. I actually can buy a beer bottle if I really want to. I'm going to avoid doing that right now because I think it's probably, you know, more feasible to take a, you know, to take a walk here. But essentially now it's like, oh, escape the stadium because they totally will know it's me being a random bystander in the crowd here. But you know, that being said, oh, perhaps I should not walk on top of the, uh, the walls. That might not be the best idea. So essentially, there's a car waiting for us over here. Um, the little yellow icon is essentially a car. You wouldn't actually know that unless you go through the tutorial and then find out what the car delivery system is. But... I know that because I've played this before, but essentially, um, now that we have a car, it's our job, this is potentially the driving tutorial, 
where it sort of teaches us how to operate a vehicle, but not really. Nothing in this game really... There's nothing to really teach you how to drive in this game, you just kind of have to do trial and error. The controls are not as good as, say, in GTA. They're similar, but they're not as profound, I guess you could say. Um, in my opinion, they are much worse. That appears to be a police barricade. Oh, he saw me. Okay. So let's just... Let's just say fuck it. And now we have to escape the police, quote-unquote, which should not be too difficult since this is the tutorial. Of course, that being said, with all for all I know, it'll somehow be a difficult thing to do. I mean, they're not even following me right now. I don't think that there's possibly anything that I could do to... Oh, maybe they're following me. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I suddenly saw them appear. Alright, so, as you can see, you can easily screw yourself over, but what I ended up doing there was flip the traffic signal at the... That didn't help me at all, because the traffic signal was already flipped. Um, but as you can see, you can flip the traffic signal at the last second, and that will allow you to uh, potentially cause accidents in the intersection, and cause those accidents to happen with the police cars if you're good at it. Um, you get an ability called Focus later on, which allows you to slow motion. And in my opinion, that's the only way to make those traffic signals all that feasible. But for now, we just need to lose the police. So let's see if we can just outrun them here. The, uh, I have to admit, the smoke in my eyes is a little, a little distracting. see what we can do to mess those fellows up. So I'm actually just going to hide in the police car, or hide in the car and hope the cops can't find me. Who is this guy? My hope is that they won't actually notice me up here. Seeing as I'm just parked here. Although, they're not very good cops if they can't see this smoking, steaming car just kind of hanging up on the top. But that being said, I think we'll go ahead and maybe steal a new vehicle. Since that one's about ready to blow up. And head over to our hideout, which should be pretty simple to get to. Um, ideally, in my opinion, motorcycles tend to be the best vehicles to steal. And it's not because motorcycles are better to drive, it's just because you don't have to break a window in public to do it. When you steal the motorcycle, you just get on and drive it. There's no hot wiring animation. It doesn't look like anyone really notices you. Uh, maps and GPS, thank you for pointing that out. Um, but I'd like to find a vehicle first. Alright, forget it. We're hijacking this car right here. Because it looks badass, and I am sick and tired of looking for a motorcycle. So, let's go. Alright, let's not kill any more civilians. This has not been a very fun uh, couple things we've done so far. No police. Do not find me. Basically, what the police are doing right now is they're trying to use the quote-unquote grid to locate me because the witness called in my description. And we're about to get caught. Crap. Shit, 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 Oh, we made it out. I cannot believe that. Oh, shit. Crap. They do a pretty good job with the grid, and they move the grid, so it's not just like one grid you can watch out for. The grid moves, it becomes very difficult to avoid. So essentially, you can lead to lots of annoying police chases like so. Or all I really want to do, I guess that's what I get for stealing this car, but I didn't want to walk the whole damn way. Let's do what we can to try to cause another couple of accidents. Why not, right? Whoa! 
And the police are fucking psychopaths in this game. <laughs> and how I survived that, I have no fucking idea. Um, but we're gonna just run. Oh shit. <laughs> this turned into the biggest clusterfuck of all time. Oh fuck me. Can they see me? Do they know where I am? I don't know if they know where I am. I don't want them to I don't want them to catch me all of a sudden. If they don't actually Oh, they don't know. I don't think they know exactly where I am. I think they're all just searching around for me right now. Shit, one of them's coming this way, though. Shit, they totally know where I am. Alright. Time to go. I was hoping if I got out of, like, eyesight... See, this game is not being very forgiving, considering this is only the first time I've ever stolen a car slash played a tutorial level. <sighs> Let's take something fast. So this is going to be a very short trip, um, <laughs> since we're going a direction we can't go. Well, that police car was very cognizant of what I was doing. He decided to actually try to turn a little bit, so I got, he got more in my way. That guy didn't do a very good job of that, though. So let's uh, let's swing down this 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 mile little stretch here, see if we can just plain outrun them. We'll pop a couple traffic lights, see if we can create some intersection accidents that might prevent us, prevent them from catching us. Um, as you can see, the police are dogged in their pursuit. They, they have absolutely no issue. And if you get even just three stars on you, or I guess I say stars like Grand Theft Auto, but if you get like three levels, they'll actually send out helicopters. And it's like it escalates really fucking fast. All right, so I think we tricked them, because if you if you get far enough ahead of them where they can't see you, you can hide in the car, and sometimes that makes it so they don't know where the fuck you are. We've got a patrol car in pursuit of suspect. But we'll see if that that holds water. But they nope, they just went the other way. Very very frustrating how they they tend to always know where you are even if they're not within sight of you. And you're probably asking yourself, exactly what the fuck do you have to do to get away from these assholes? That's a good question. This entire episode was more or less worth this uh, this ridiculous chase scene. So, I'm going to do my best to avoid killing anyone else. We've already killed like three civilians. I guess I can sort of understand... Oh, actually, they might be searching for me right now. So if I can get out of their radius, we can get, out, we can get away. Yes. All right, so let's uh, pull over here for a second. Our hideout is really close. I think. Our hideout is nowhere near where we are. So, <laughs> our hideout is really close. It's like on the opposite side of Chicago. So let's, um, we only have 3,000 meters to go without pissing off the police again. So let's do what we can to just kind of make our way over there as slowly and surely as possible. I'll take the most direct route. I won't kill anyone. And hopefully the police will not aggro again on me. Although it's very possible that they could. I'm not really sure about the mechanics of whether, like, you know, once you get away, if they recognize your car every time they see it or if they recognize you somehow magically every time they see you regardless of what car you're in. I don't know. Um, it would be very realistic if they recognized the car. It would be very unrealistic if they recognized you every time they saw you. 
Um, because that way, at least with the car, it's like, well, you know, you just try to like run us off all, all off the road. Of course I know who the fuck you are. I mean, that makes perfect sense to me. But if the issue is... That was so stupid. I probably should look at the lights. Although the concept of having lights in general in a game like this just baffles me because I don't pay attention to them. This isn't driving, this is a hacking game. Come on, let's be let's be realistic here. I don't know how to drive, I only know how to computer. Did that just say I am disappoint? <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck that said. But I, I think that's what it said. I, I, I'm gonna have to take a look at that again. Uh, some the next time I run by one of those electronic signs to see what the hell you put on it. <clears throat> Only 2,000 meters to go. Come on. No whammies. No whammies. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. No big deal. I just take the quick way. It's a truck, truck sandwich right there. I just need to get there without my car blowing up, and I think that I'll count that as a win. Next exit. Oh, we're only down to 600 meters or something like that. It's a good sign. Why is it not... When do I have to get off the highway? That's quite, oh, this exit right here. Thanks a lot. Look at those directions, that GPS right there. It's like, please cross over three lanes of traffic in order to get out. If, if my GPS did that um, in real life, I would die horribly within the first trip of, of using it. Very, very mediocre as far as that's concerned. But yeah, we're going to make our way to the Owl Motel. Essentially, the Owl Motel is going to be our hideout from, at least in the beginning of the game. I don't know how long that remains true, or, you know, if it ever becomes not true. But essentially... You know, now that we've made it to the motel, we should be all set. And we should be able to complete the uh, the mission as is. So let's run right in and see what happens. My hand is broken. I trust our info in finding Maurice was correct. We gained access to the CPU and back door while the police were being distracted by you. Since we both went in this, we'll share what we have. That back door allows you some access to the CTUS network. I've been working on something bigger. Give me time. Okay, so <clears throat> plenty of fun stuff here. It's telling us how to use the skill tree. Um, basically, it's making it so that I have to open up gates and garages. Probably not a bad idea. We have five available skill points to go as well. There's one combat skill point I want to get really quick, and that's the focus. Now, I can't use any other one right now anyway, so even if I wanted to unlock them, I could not. Um, I believe Steady Aim I could get as well as... Yeah, that's it. But what I actually want to do is focus more on hacking. Um, there's a couple things I definitely want to get, and one of them is going to be blockers. And I suppose bridges is a good one to get as well. L-Train Control I don't care about, but I want to get the extra battery slot. And I believe... 
That'll leave us one more left to do with what we want. Um, let me see what we can get here. We come through this disabled helicopter. That would be a nice one to get once I can finally, finally get to that level. But so hacking's done. Driving. Oh, car unlock. That's a pretty good skill to have. I didn't realize that I could actually do that. So, I'm happy with our current skill set right now. And essentially, there's a couple things we can do, but we're ultimately going to be resting and heading on to the next day. Mission 1 complete. Hooray, Act 1. So, basically, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys like what you saw in it. Um, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you hit that like button. Um, definitely means a lot. And if you want to see more videos like this, or you'd like to continue watching Watch Dogs as I play it, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll be continually uploading videos on the, onto the channel. And, um, you know, Watch Dogs is going to be a big part of my channel moving forward for the next, uh, well, at least a little while here. So uh, make sure to keep watching, and I will uh, keep playing some more Watch Dogs. See you guys later.